Hi, my name is Brian, and uh, I own a small computer repair shop in South Florida. And we are actually going to go through how to make Windows 8 a little more like Windows 7. And actually, once we do these very small modifications, I think you're going to really like Windows 8. It's, you know, the, the interface is different than Windows 7. However, some of the functionality, the features, and some of the ease of use uh, that are built into Windows 8 have sort of been shadowed by the problems with its interface and we are going to do something really simple and really free to fix all that uh, right now so let's dive right in so the screen you're looking at right now is called the Metro UI this is what everybody sees when you boot into Windows 8 it is um, kind of arduous to uh, to get around you have to move your mouse down to the corner to get this menu to come up which is the charms menu and you have a very small piece of real estate to hit to do it or you hit the I don't know what key it is, but it comes up, and I mean, it's it's a terrible interface. This whole beginning screen makes it extremely different, difficult for the user to get around their computer. The search functionality and all that is great, but it's just it just seems like not to flow properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to install a piece of software that's going to change all of that. So. Let's get out of this screen. Let's go open up the charms menu and hit search and then hit desktop because this is going to actually take you where you want to be. This is your desktop here, right? It looks like Windows 7 except you're missing your start menu. Uh, you have everything else. Your, you know, your icons are here, but no start menu. So open up a web browser. In this case, I've got Chrome already installed, so we're going to use Chrome. And uh, we are going to load up a website called pokey.com p o k k i dot com all right and on this page uh, there's a, a button right in the bottom right hand corner if it ever comes up Come on. here it comes uh, it says free download this is the this is the button you have to hit this is a third party piece of software that actually puts a start menu uh, right on your taskbar in Windows 8. And it does something else that's really, really cool as well. So we're going to go ahead and run this. And in Chrome, all you got to do is click the executable and it actually starts to run it. I'm going to close Chrome. Let Pokey do its thing. See this selection right here? Use Pokey as my start menu. Go ahead and click OK. And what it's going to do is it's going to download Pokey and install it. There is no other steps you really need to take. However, we are going to make some slight modifications that make this even better for your Windows 8 experience. Okay, so now you can see Pokey's installed because you have this little home button down here. So you hover over home and you click left click once and now you have this start menu. It Right now, it, it looks as if there's not a whole lot going on, but we're going to actually make a couple of changes that are going to make this really cool. So let's go ahead and click on uh, the little arrow at the bottom top, and we're going to, or the bottom top, the top right, and we're going to hit settings, and we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to remove this show popular PC apps. That's kind of like an advertisement. Um, and you can see in here, you can change the coloring and whatever, that's fine. Um, I like to change the icon to make it feel more like Windows to a Windows icon. I also wanted to say right here, this is really important, go to the desktop instead of the start menu, instead of start when I sign in. What it's saying is we are going to disable the Metro UI. So when you boot up, it's going to have this desktop right here. You're not, you're not going to see the Metro UI. Uh, that's important. Anything else that you're really interested in um, on the left hand side it says show side uh, menu sidebar. You can add whatever you want there. Um, downloads is a helpful one. I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, you know, and if you use pictures, whatever it is, hit save. And now you have all of these blank boxes here, which I like to populate with all of my favorite apps. So I click on all apps. You can come over here and you can like this PC App Store. I can get rid of that. And then if you just star these, they're gonna, it's going to put it in your list of things that you like to use. So now when I start up Pokey, I'm going to see these, my favorite apps here. It's pretty clean. It does the job. Now, 
when we hit reboot on this thing, which, by the way, is now down in our Pokey menu. We no longer have to use the Charms menu at all. And in fact, you can disable the Charms menu right within Pokey. Disable all corner navigation. Hit save. No longer can you come over here and your Charms menu will come up. Hallelujah. Get rid of that thing. It is a menace. So now we've got this. Let's go ahead, shut down, restart, and let's find out what happens. We've got our little welcome screen here. It's rolling around. Metro UI comes up and bada bing. Right out of the Metro UI and it loads right into your Windows desktop. This is so key. This changes everything as far as a Windows user and their experience goes. So now again, down here you got your Windows little button on the left. This is probably what my Microsoft should have done when they designed the software to ultimately take away the start menu. What they've utilized for the last 15 years is their interface. They've kind of wiped out. Uh, and they were hoping to be innovative and become, come up with this charms menu and everything. It was just poorly executed. I think it's a good idea. It's just poorly executed. It's not functional because of the hot corner situation. They're trying to be more like Apple. Um, you know, it is what it is. It's an out, it's a Microsoft machine. So don't try to be like Apple, Microsoft, try to be Microsoft. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this has helped you in migrating over from windows seven to windows eight, or if you ever forced to buy a new PC, you can actually make your experience so much better, uh, by just doing this one little piece of free software. Thanks again. Please like. Please subscribe and please add any comments below. Thanks so much.